Barack Obama and his nemesis in Washington, Republican Speaker of the House John Boehner, communing over 18 holes of golf, a game that author Mark Twain once derided as a good walk spoiled. Yet amid the great outdoors, this was an occasion for the two politicians to narrow their sharp differences. First over the astronomical budget, Zero. Republicans threatening not to, to extend the legal now. limit on the amount of debt the government can incur unless a deal is reached this summer. And on Libya, Obama's resistance to asking congressional approval of the American military mission there, despite reports that some top government lawyers have advised the president the action is illegal otherwise. That is likely to provide ammunition to Boehner and others who say the president is breaking the war powers law by not getting congressional authorization. Golf isn't a political game like, say, poker, where you can bluff your way to win. But in fact, Obama is just the latest in a long line of U.S. presidents who've tried to turn this sport to his political advantage. Though John F. Kennedy, the best of them all, liked to keep his game private after criticizing his predecessor Dwight Eisenhower for spending too much time on the links. Bill Clinton enjoyed mixing golf with political talk, though his scorekeeping was sometimes known to benefit from too much spin. George W. Bush stopped playing golf during the Iraq war, he said, in respect to the troops, but only after making this pronouncement. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank you. Now watch this drive. Obama admits Boehner's game is better, partly thanks to plenty of time the Republican leader likes to spend on the course with business lobbyists. The president teamed with Boehner against Vice President Joe Biden and Ohio's Republican governor and won the match on the final hole. But the two will soon be back facing off against each other in the more aggressive sport of steering the U.S. government. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.